Are you ready? Oh, fuck! Oscar, it is, it is me. Weekend, the music midtown, and I'm vlogging. And I have my friends here. We're having like a little morning puppy session. Hey everyone! Shut up! Shut the f up! Okay. All of you, shut the f up! Shut up! Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> oh, your dog is fucking drooled on me. Shut up! Today is Saturday, which means it's the first day of music midtown, and we're about to go to breakfast. We're gonna go a little bit later in the day because um. Garbage. We just don't like want to see anybody. We're going to fly in bit. Oh. Yes. Target. What are we getting, Elena? I don't even know what we're getting. We're just going to Target before we go over to the festival. You can get me a fanny pack. I'm getting me JoJo Siwa merch. We're looking for clear backpacks and we can't find one, but we did find this. Oh, oh. Can we go see the JoJo Siwa merch? No. Oh my God, is that Dua Lipa? Excuse me, do you know where Dua Lipa is? Wait, is Dua Lipa performing here? Festival ready. We're in the car. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, I think I'm ready. Hey everyone, what's going on? So it is literal hours later, and we're finally on the way to the festival. But first, you know where we gotta stop? Where, where are we at? Huh? Oh. Yep, we're at Chick-fil-A. I'll give you like a little O O Z Z um in a minute. Once we get there, we're gonna see Post Malone tonight. We're gonna meet up with our friend Jess. Um, it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, hopefully I won't trip and fall and skin my knee. Um, that happened last year. That's right. That's right, bitch. Fuck it up. Fuck it real good. I'm reviewing Chick-fil-A. I got a... What is this called? Cool wrap with no chicken. Cause a bitch is trying to be socially conscious. Smash that motherfucking like button if you f with Jason's Deli. The air coming out of the vents is drying off the lettuce in my wrap. I will give you 20 bucks if someone notices me from YouTube. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. I swear to God, I'll Vimo you. You owe me a hundred bucks if someone comes up to you. I, okay, I'll give you a hundred dollars. Deal on the bet. Kiss my fingers. No. Hey, um, I just thought I would update you on that bet. So Elena was right. No one noticed me, but, um, that's fine. Maybe next time. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting ready for the festival. take a moment to appreciate this girl's backpack like not only is it clear but it is the exact same pattern fluorescent i don't even know what like what is this pattern called iridescent i don't know wait hold on should I, i'm gonna look that up real quick hold on irid ir, oh iridocolitis okay <laughs> iridescent here we go iridescent aha i was correct so yeah what are the odds that as soon as we walk into the festival we see a clear backpack with iridescent features just like my shoes what is up with that anyways back to the video we're here this is nothing but alcohol the way that he looks at her lips Hey guys, we're fucking back from the music festival. I just found out pants on the man. Wait, I just found out pants on the grown man is dead. He's fucking dead. Hey, so I actually just looked it up and he's not dead. Yeah, that's right. Can we get a round of applause for the pants on the ground man? Hell yeah. Oh, can you pants on the ground. Looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. <laughs> Welcome to day two of Music Midtown. We're getting ready. We're gonna go soon. I'm gonna be glittering my eyebrows, so. <laughs>
We're here. Craft beer experience. Oh, boy. Can I just say, who is this guy just laying down in the grass at a music festival by himself? Like, what's his story? Did his friends leave him? Did his girlfriend break up with him? Is he just chilling? Did he arrive alone? Just taking a damn lay in the middle of the music festival. I kind of have respect for that. Hey guys, and welcome to the very first annual Glitter Cam! I don't know why Jesse made that face. It's kind of weird, but it's funny, so I'm going to keep it in. <laughs> Hey there, so funny story about those glasses that I'm showing you right now. Those glasses belong to my friend Elena. Yeah, that one. She dropped them and refused to pick them up. I said, Elena, go through the crowd, pick them up. Someone might step on them, but no, she refused. And then we look over and see a guy holding her glasses. He stole the glasses, but she did nothing about it because she's a pussy. Also, look at these two white males in front of me that have the exact same sunburn. How funny. We're waiting for Billie Eilish. Look, you can see the stage from here. Wow, that's so great. Look how close we are to Billie Eilish. We're like basically barricade. We interrupt this program to bring you an important message. Welcome to fighting in public with your girlfriend, yikes. Let's meet our couples. The first couple we have decided to take this dispute outside the festival. You can clearly tell the guy does not give a single fuck. Might be intoxicated, who knows? The girlfriend clearly upset with him. They were fighting at low volume. Best of luck to couple number one. Our second couple was overheard as soon as my friends and I stepped into the park. You can tell someone was angry by this sound bite. Was she saying sorry? Did she mean it? Also, we have video footage of her reaching for her man's phone. That can't be good. Our third and final couple decided to handle their dispute right inside the mosh pit at Post Malone. They're being very quiet about it. The man seems to be swaying back and forth, meaning that he may be intoxicated or under the influence of some sort of drug. Thanks for watching our segment, Fighting With Your Girlfriend in Public. And just remember, your girlfriend probably f hates you. Hey guys, so it's raining, so we're underneath our blankie. We're walking to Gucci Mane. <laughs> Yeah, I love that move. The old hop around like a jumping bean while staring directly at your phone. That's my favorite move. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's good. We just left the fest scene. You know what we gotta do. We're going to Taco Bell, bitch. Yeah, oh my God, I feel like I was run over by a truck and I didn't even drink that much. But we didn't eat or drink water. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say you love me? We've been in the Taco Bell line for nearly an hour. My feet are quaking. Should I get a caramel apple freeze? <laughs> I came into this music festival with space buns. I left with one bun. Wait, where's the other one? <laughs> Yo, legit, when I don't get food, it's like cutting off my oxygen supply. I'm not kidding. Good morning. It is the next day. And as you can clearly tell, I'm not looking too good. So last night, I came home with the intentions of showering, washing my hair, putting on clean jammies, you know. But I got home, kicked my shoes off, told myself I was just gonna lay in bed to decompress for like five seconds and get up and do my night routine. I ended up falling asleep with the lights on, my phone on my face, my glasses on. So here we are with hair that looks like shit. Oh, 
found a bobby pin. But overall, it was a really fun time. I usually don't have a lot of fun at these festivals. There was literally never a single point where I was like upset or like tired or wanting to go home. I thoroughly had such a good time and that never happens for me at least. I'm always like stressed or anxious, but like I literally just went with the flow and it was the best time ever. Thank you for watching. Look at that glitter on my glasses still. All right, bye.